Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I want to talk about data center monitoring um, I have a monitoring device sitting here over the camera and we installed that uh, pretty far back by now it's a netbot and it's the wallbot 500 and um, well we can just take the camera and we can see it just a second there it is it's up there and it looks down and i really should finish my window here uh, this is the wallbot it has a camera attached to it so it films everything that well if i stand very still um, it will not be filming but as i am moving all the time it's um, it has a little led over here that's the orange one uh, every time that blinks that's because there's an alert and that's because i'm moving here so but the netbot measures a lot of things in the data center besides the the camera movement that is really very obvious so the wallbot or netbot um it's it's kind of first line of defense um, it will often be one of the first devices that will registrate if something is wrong in the data center if the cooling has died and the netbot will be able to send an email or something out to show that something is wrong so i think we should go to the computer and see what data is available when we have a netbot like this i might just mention that the netbot is i believe it's way out of you can't get them anymore i got mine used but there are new ones available from I think Snyder makes them now APC Snyder yeah something like that and um, they have new models so um, yeah wouldn't we all like a new model <laughs> so let's go to the computer and see what the netbot looks like when we log into it here we are at the computer and um, I have just opened my web browser I see it has been open for a while never mind I have this netbot at this IP number here at my playhouse and it even tells me what it is so that is awesome um, this is what it looks like when you just log into it you can see that it knows the date it knows the time and i get a picture of my rack here right now the camera out there is able to do a lot bigger resolution than this uh, 640 times 480 so if we um, put that up a bit just take maximum resolution here we get a way better picture of what's going on out there uh, it's not a widescreen camera that is in there so it looks a bit weird let's just see how much we can get of that okay most of it we can we can see here um so maybe just go but you can see you get much more of a picture when you use the high res uh if we go down you will see we see less of the equipment in there uh, there was something down in this corner that's now gone you can only read the ex of the expo uh, ex1 device that i have laying on the shelf there if we go up in resolution well we get all of the box and all of that so uh, that's a weird thing uh, right now it's refreshing the picture once a second but we can we can get more pictures if that is what we want so yeah cool we get the picture <laughs> um other things i get i get the temperature the netbot if we look up here alerts sensor um we can see uh, alerts and that is under the alerts over here and we can see all of these are camera movements i have been out there doing stuff we can see the last one um, that's probably where i took uh, left the data center uh, when i went in here we should be able to to see 16 seconds there we have me let's see what i do i am leaving the data center to come into the living room uh, to record video so apparently there is 80 pictures recorded that is something that i have configured somewhere so let's stop that but and go back to alert details and back to alert view 
so these are all the alerts that um, that it has recorded and it's mostly the camera I haven't really set up alerts uh, on temperature or anything like that so a lot of camera alerts in here one of 20 one of 32 camera we have graphs that's where the temperature is shown we can also click here and we get the same thing and we get the option if we have more than one uh, nit bots I have uh, the wallbot 500 and there is a sensor in that and there is another sensor in that so these two are both in the netbot the netbot is made up of different sections there is the main section then there's the camera section and there is a sensor section um, and that's these sectors that we can see here um, this is a door switch I could put on a door switch a cable that goes over to the door and as soon as the door opens well I would get an alert and the camera would be able to record something something like that door switch camera motion internals external mic speaker so um, different options so a loud noise in the data center would also be an idea for, for making an alert let's check the temperature that's kind of interesting I have this problem that it shows up in Fahrenheit and I really haven't found where I can change that it really sucks to have that in Fahrenheit because I am not able to, to translate that uh, funny thing there is a um, management program for the netbot that you install on your PC and when we go into that so let's just get some graphs airflow let's do temperature and just to mess me we that's also in Fahrenheit today and I haven't got a clue why it's in Fahrenheit so but let's wait with this for a little bit and see some of the other things in here we have humidity in the data center 43 percent it recalls the div point which is uh, the temperature where the water in the air would start to become a problem so that would be bad airflow we don't have any airflow so uh, that's not always good we have audio um, it seems someone has been in the data center and speaking out loud right about there I have a I have a decent idea about who that could be um, so that is working door sensor not plugged in I don't have a door sensor for out there we have the camera motion we can see that at the same time there was a lot of alerts of camera motion um, out there too then we have the ethernet link seems to be steady up external mic connected yeah it's connected but it's just a dummy mic so it's not a real mic that is uh, is in there no. and there's external speaker as well not connected either so that's the sensors in it uh, camera temperature humidity yeah and all the others it would be nice if let's say the temperature rises over some some degrees in the data center now my camera is is located pretty high up on the cold side but sometimes it does become hot in there as well so uh, you're not able to set any of these alerts in here so we need to go uh, to this other program that I have to install on my PC and mess with the sensors in here and there are a lot of stuff that you can mess with and over here funny enough it tells me the temperature in Celsius thank you very much so let's see what this is it's the netbot institute blah 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 i believe that that i think i installed the the last version on it when i got it i don't think there is any new firmware available alarm action it can deliver alarms to uh, ftp server primary email notifications secondary email notification send an in SNMP trap sent using HTTP post short message 
email that's kind of an sms some of the stuff that is configurable in here but let's go to the config and see some of these that's what to do with an alert camera port we can there's a lot of settings here i don't think we should mess with that here is the sensor parts and here we have wallbot 500 and we have the sensors in that wallbot 500 and it only sees the ethernet link status so that's because the wallbot 500 is the main unit it doesn't really have any sensors of its own it's more or less the computer of the of the wallbot um, so we're gonna say okay it can show us the link status for the last eight hours it's not significant wonder what we can do link status okay let's just have a day that's nice thank you we did something okay uh, sensor part here and that's docked so let's see the sensors in that that's way more interesting we have the airflow we have the audio we have the drew point humidity and temperature so temperature could be very interesting so let's see what we have temperature modify temperature we are recording that for one day and we have the thresholds down here so right now it has a default range threshold enabled yes uh, so let's edit that see what I've set everything um, it should be happy between 20 and 40 degrees mm, that is a bit high well right now it is 32.1 degrees up there on the ceiling so it's probably um, if it reaches 40 degrees up there the temperature near the racks will be considerably lower than that so I think that 40 degrees is okay but maybe I should make it so that it's not called default so we could borrow some of this and I can add here what to do if something goes wrong I believe so we could add an email it might be something called let's data center alert data center alerts at my playhouse yeah, there is no email address called that so um, but that's an option so configure email server Okay, so I would have to configure the server for how to send the email out. I'm not sure I'm going to do that right now, but well, you have to set that up here. And I don't have my own SMTP server configured, so I would have to send it out to a provider. And I don't have that data right now, so never mind. But it is possible for each of the sensors in here to configure a threshold like the airflow. The airflow thing is one of the measurements that is very effective to show if a cooling device in a data center has suddenly stopped working. If the airflow stops, well, the cooler has stopped and there might be five minutes until the temperature rises enough for you to get an alert. But the airflow stops immediately. So, um, when there's an airflow alert, it's a good idea to, to check if the temperature is on its way up and um, do something about that. Uh, audio, not really important. Humidity, it's a tough one to do anything about. You can use a dehumidifier if, if the air is too humid and you can put more water in it if it's too dry. Between 20 and 65% is good here also here it's available to set up email notification if, if that comes outside of that range so this is really good to see if something has happened over a period of a day for example if the temperature let's check the temperature here uh, graphs and let's go to temperature and we can see right now the temperature is pretty high in my data center 
um, we are watching the last day so yesterday it was here today then at night it went down and right now we are at 90 degrees Fahrenheit which is apparently 32.2 degrees Celsius pretty hot in there right now and the Sun is shining so it's probably also true yesterday the weather was a little bit less you can see it's like 87 degrees Fahrenheit here and 90 over here it's really only a difference of 3 degrees Fahrenheit and when it was at its lowest it was 83.1 so it has a risen like only 6.9 so it's, it's not that bad and it is sitting up another ceiling that's one day of that let's see the, the humidity does that change it changes not very much one day down and it goes up again during the night and it goes down apparently that's humidity let's see what else do we have we have the that one this is a reaction of the temperature and the humidity um, i'm pretty sure this is just calculated out of those two it does a lot of weird stuff here but a camera motion we can see over the last day when i have been in my data center messing around doing stuff this was when i was just out there this was a little bit earlier when i was doing something else out there and then i've been in there for just a bit and here i was sleeping cool let's see what else we have we have well, the link it has been good we have external mic nothing much speaker nothing much but there is a whole lot of things that you can configure here and if anyone knows where to set uh, change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius I would be very interested in that I have set its location in Denmark and the time zone is Copenhagen at 24 hour clock that should really it should know that Denmark we don't want Fahrenheit so get it apparently that isn't enough web server okay you can configure the web server which well, that's not a lot of configuration there so cancel that backup clock okay. okay so it can use ntp to set the time of this device that's an advanced so maybe not really necessary but it can custom audio clips so we can play an alert to someone if we I have never tried that I do believe I have would have to connect the loudspeaker out there I don't have anything with a mini jack that I can just although it would be amusing uh, I should do something on patreon like you could log on patreon and you can play an audio clip that would be fun um yeah I don't have a loudspeaker with Ah, that would be fun. Ah, do I have a lot? I'll check. Okay, I did find a speaker and I did connect it out there. Actually, see my uh, speaker there connected. Um, I haven't found anywhere where I can use it for anything. I did also upload a sound clip to it. Um, I can. Um, add another one I can delete it can't do anything with it so um, it's, a, it's a shame I found a really fun one um, okay and I kind of use that hey that didn't work with the loudspeaker thing so I uh, better remove that again even had had a really cool loudspeaker I just bought this and realized that it had a connection for a for a cable Otherwise, it's a Bluetooth loudspeaker. Cheap one from Lidl. And I just stumbled upon that I could change the, the data center to be widescreen. So now I get to see more of the stuff even in the small picture here. So what does it look like? Then it's the same, but now I can have a smaller picture and still see everything. So that was awesome. Maybe I should just show you where I found that camera pod. 
and it was on the virtual mode there was a white screen here and it was set to the other one before so here i get i get a better overview of what of what's going on in my data center not as if there is anything going on um this black thing going that's the wire for the loudspeaker I should probably just go and de detach that i guess so i found that one so maybe someday i'll find where to change it from fahrenheit to celsius as well so, there's a lot of stuff that you can set up with the camera here um, I, i'm i'm pretty happy with it right now so i'm not gonna be missing with it um, seems it can generate reports very nice backup clock we have been in there dns email server external storage Hmm. Add. Windows share, NFS mount. Hmm. It might be good to have a Windows share and store some data over there. Um, I should consider setting that up. IP filter, probably who's allowed to uh, use this. Yeah. License keys, advanced. Oh. There's a lot of modules that I don't have. No, 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 no. Hmm. Anyone has keys for this? Didn't even know you needed those. Location. Okay. Lock. Network infrastructure. Okay, so that's enable interface. Configure automatically from DHCP. Thank you. Uh, it only has a 10 slash 100 megabit connection. So if it sends an only, then we have a possibility to share the camera and the, the data with other devices. I haven't used that ever, but um, it could be cool if you could, like, uh, if you had a camera system, you could actually bind it to that and maybe have that store your camera data from what's going on in the data center that would be nice proxy region we already checked that restore snmp trap ssl infrastructure manager okay that's if you have a server and connected to that advanced upgrade let's check Firmware version, latest available, user interface version. Hmm, huh. this is a weird one. Cancel. Okay, user, have an administrator account, guest account, my account, Netbox viewer account, and I have had a Patreon account on here as well. Might do that again someday. Uh, I like this. I can see a lot more now. I know I didn't do a very good job of explaining what this um, monitoring device can do. Also, many of your servers will be able to do monitoring of your data center, tell you what the incoming temperature is, and yeah, that's mostly it. But often that's a really good way to know if there's something wrong in your data center. If a server is complaining that it's too hot, well, something might be wrong. All the servers might be just on the edge of um, telling you that, well, the cooling stopped. So I, um, I would recommend getting one of those if you, um, if you run a real data center. I mostly got mine just because I thought they were cool. And um, yeah, so I wanted one. That, that's about it. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Join me over at Twitter where I post things i'm also on facebook where i also sometimes post things and if you want to support me on what i do here there's patreon where i should go and record a little video for my patreon supporters i do that on sundays so yeah have a nice day bye bye